Well, it is the oldest sports trophy in North America and has been battled and fought over hundreds of times. It's stamped with the names of NHL greats who have hoisted it in victory. And today the Stanley Cup made an appearance here in Peterborough. As Melissa Lamb explains, the cup doesn't only symbolize excellence, it also does some good. At only 10 days old, Emma doesn't yet realize that she's already had a once-in-a-lifetime chance sitting in the Stanley Cup. I came this morning, I brought my daughter because I wanted her to see the Stanley Cup and I wanted to see it and I also have a cousin that's going uh, overseas to Afghanistan. He's a huge uh, Leafs fan and I wanted him to have a picture of her while I was over there. Many others like the Montgomerys have come to the Indian Reptile Zoo to pose with this 35 pound trophy. Alligators and snakes. Alligators and snakes. And what else did you see? It's Stanley Cup. It's Stanley Cup. Look at that little tiny snake. First time experience. It's unreal. It's uh, a childhood dream to actually uh, see the cup and to touch the cup. And it was good because you don't really get to see it very often. The cup is not only here to bring smiles to fans, but also raise money for a worthy cause. Mike Bolt, who's been the keeper of the cup for over 10 years, says 320 days of the year, he and Lord Stanley are traveling around the world doing good. And the cup does a lot of great charity events, and this is no, this is a, another great charity event that we're involved in. So wait, it's a great time of year to have the kids come in, get a chance to get a picture with the greatest trophy in professional sports, and see this really cool zoo and uh, help out a good cause for these endangered animals. Proceeds from Lord Stanley's visit at the Reptile Zoo today will go towards helping animals like this bearded dragon who have been abandoned by its owner.